Hey, how you doing guys? Uh, I have some exciting news I just found out. Um, but before I get to that, I'm going to talk a little bit about, um, there's been also some other news uh, as far as the new Apple, new modular Mac Pro. It's, uh, this is accordance with Apple, and uh, which was an interf uh, interview from TechCrunch that said, uh, the new modular Mac Pro is not going to come out this year. It's scheduled for next year. And while that may seem sad, I think it's good that uh, it's not rushed um, out to market. We want to make sure it's done correctly. Um, of course, we did have the release of the iMac Pro, um, which while in some ways it may be a stopgap until the new modular Mac Pro, in and in of itself, it's very good as a standalone workstation. Um, because many people just bought the maxed out Mac Pro and use that for professional uses. Now they have an official uh, iMac Pro workstation, professional version. Okay, uh, now this uh, interesting one is Apple's coming out with a new ProRes RAW, which, um, of course, nowadays there's a lot of cameras outputting in RAW format, which means very large, huge file sizes. Um, which is harder to work with in many computers and laptops. Now, this came about um, when Apple partnered with Atomos, which makes camera external recorders. And uh, it also, uh, some of the uh, Atomos recorders record in RAW. So they're working with Apple to come out with a new Pro ProRes RAW format, um, which is interesting because this is not only for Apple, and its platform, but any platform that uses a ProRes codec um, can support this. So this is great across the board. And um, now this is gonna uh, do many things. It's gonna mean smaller file sizes and uh, better CPU processing uh, for, because it has better bandwidth. And supposedly here, uh, from the information I got, um, the ProRes RAW will actually use less space than a conventional ProRes H high quality, HQ, which is uh, 4444. Uh, I'm also expecting, now this is supposed to come out, actually come out in April 9th. And so I'm expecting them to update the um, Pro Video Codex uh, across the, the platform for Apple. And uh, this is also going to become uh, out as updates in Final Cut Pro 10.4.1 and also uh, motion and Apple's motion and compressor applications. So great news there. Um, and uh, it's kind of funny that, you know, them just partnering together. Um, it's not, it doesn't make it just an advantage for Atomos, the company, but like I said, Anything that uses ProRes, um, any applications could be for Windows or Apple or whatever. Of course, I do realize that uh, they kind of dropped support officially for Windows computers as far as, um, uh, I believe it was, it was some ProRes codex or something. But if the application supports it, uh, at least that should work within the Windows platform as well. Give me your thoughts and uh, some exciting news on, on both counts, the uh, new module uh, iMac, or the new modular Mac Pro and, of course, the new Apple ProRes RAW.